I don't really have a thing I'm trying to say, like a bumper sticker. If that was the case, I'd just make a bumper sticker. It would take a lot less time and money and energy. <laughs> My name is Nancy Andrews, and I am an artist here in Maine. I work in film, installation, drawing, sound, and performance, and puppetry, and animation. I moved from Chicago to Mount Desert Island, Maine in 1999. I had some fear that I was going to disappear to the art world and, you know, not that I'm really in the art world, but that I would just sort of fall off the face of anybody's radar. But that hasn't happened and in some ways I feel like it's good to be a regional artist in some way because it gives you some different identity so you're not just another like of the 500 artists in the West Village in New York. In a way we live in a world where we think we know everything and I mean if there's one thing my work is about is that we don't. We don't know everything and I'm really interested in all those gray areas, all those crevices, the unknown, um, the mysteries. A metaphor for me about making artwork is a dream I had once where I was in this dark hallway and I had a key in my hand and I mean it was totally pitch black. I'm feeling my way down the hallway and I'm unlocking, I'm trying to find the lock that will fit the key that I have in my hand. And um, when I woke up from that dream, I thought, well, that is just like making artwork for me. I still feel like my community of artists is maybe not artists or, that are necessarily around me. If I want to talk shop, I'm going to get on the phone and call Jennifer Reeder in Chicago or Skype. Um, someone in Israel. It's because most of the artists, at least in this proximity, are not working in my medium. They're mostly, you know, other, you know, painters, a lot of landscape painters in Maine. There's a lot of craftspeople. It's a different shop talk, I guess. So my community here is made up of non-artists or people that are pursuing other things like botanists, scientists, and landscape architects, or whatever, many different professions. Whereas in Chicago, everyone I knew was an artist. I mean, bar none, like everyone. For this puppet head, I started with a clay, which has kind of gotten crushed a bit in travels, and I took it to um, the Wendell Gilly Museum, which is a bird carving museum, and um, he cut a blank out of uh, basswood that was based on this model. And so basically that cuts off some of the big pieces of wood so that you don't have to spend as much time whittling. It makes it a little closer to what's going to be the final shape. And then um, I carved it and wood burned it. And these eyes are bird, uh, made for bird eyes, which I also got at the Wendell Gilly Museum. Um, now I have to deal with the body, and I'm trying to decide whether to go with a traditional rod or hand puppet that some, or something that I can truly animate and make an armature um, for it. And sometimes I'll do both. I'll have two um, bodies, one that's, a, one that's a rod puppet, for example, and one that's um, an armature that can be moved, you know, click, 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 click. Um, so I haven't quite decided which to do with her. I have a hard time saying, even that I'm a filmmaker some days, sometimes I even have a hard time saying that I'm an artist. It just all seems very ephemeral in a way. I don't know why, because I've been doing this for 30 years in one form or another, but I mean, I'm comfortable now saying that I'm an artist. And I don't think I was comfortable saying that when I was in my 20s.
I mean, I f always feel lucky to have an audience. I'm really pleased when people can relate to the work and feel like they get something out of it. On the other hand, I would do it anyway. And it's not my first thought to try to please an audience. So I guess making the work in some ways is an end in itself for me because it's kind of what I feel like I was put on earth to do or what I have to do with what I got handed in terms of my life. So I'm happy to have people interested in the work, but I think I would be doing the same work anyway. <laughs>